community are represented fairly and given the same opportunities as everybody else who comes out to North County and gets the jobs that have to be available to the people who live here as well. Inclusiveness is going to be a big part of what we do. Connected to economic development is education. Is inextricably connected to it. Gwen Reed, I see you here. We've talked about this a number of times. Educating our children is top priority. We have a lot of discussion. We have a lot of discussion going on right now about public schools, charter schools. What I want is quality schools. Yeah. Quality schools. We can have them. We have the people, we have the expertise. What you need is the leadership to put all those pieces together and do what needs to be done for the future of our kids. Everything is at stake. Everything is at stake. A perfect example, and I'm not going to go on too long. I know I like to talk. Uh, I haven't been elected to anything yet. But what I have done was get an organization called the Building Life Foundation, co-founded by Dr. Bernard Lafayette of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. Any of you civil rights history buffs know what that is. Yeah. Dr. Bernard Lafayette co-founded this organization with another gentleman, and the work that they do around the world successfully is based on the teachings of Dr. King. And it's not that uh, stereotype image that you get in, in, in regular coursework about Dr. King. You slap me, I turn the other cheek. And, no. It's a whole set of principles about to interact with your fellow human being and, and, and work through conflict and create what they call the beloved community. And they've done this all over the world. They were in Nigeria last summer uh, working with armed rebels. These young guys, Quran's age, walking around with, you know, AK-47s, faces covered up with bandanas. They went in, worked with these kids, and brought warring factions to the same table to talk about how they can end their conflict now and lay a foundation so that future generations won't suffer because of it. I reached out to the superintendent of Hazelwood Schools, superintendent of Ferguson Florissant Schools, new friend of mine, Dr. Art McCoy, and Dr. Clive Coleman, superintendent of Riverview Schools, because it's a regional issue. It's something that affects us all the same, no matter where we are geographically. So collectively, I said, look, what can we do to address this issue? Okay. Give me time. Okay. Uh, we put that together. We put that together, and it's underway. I think we're going to see a significant impact in our schools in terms of what the learning environment is like for teachers and students alike. Uh, but education is going to be a top priority. And then finally, of course, public safety is an issue. Now, just give me two or three minutes on this, please. Public safety. You pick up a newspaper. We live in North County. What do the people have to say? Oh, North County is going downhill. North County is the new North St. Louis. I'm just keeping it real. And this is out of control. And that's, no, it's not. What Quran said is correct. Our young people need guidance. Our young people need to be reached where they are and redirected and we can do that and there's a new relationship that you can have with the law enforcement community I just got an email today from Sergeant Rice with North County Patrol you may know him he heard about my candidacy he knows my work in the area of police community relations and improving them and he said look man we need to connect ASAP because of our shared concern about our young people in the police community relationship this thing can be turned around and yet we do have a responsibility in that we have first responsibility in our community to address people in our community who are making poor choices. I'm not going to uh, overlook that. That will also be in the agenda. But right now, it's our time. It is our time to decide the direction that we want to take our community in. It is our time to decide who we want to lead that community in that direction. We can't let anybody else pick our leaders for us anymore. And this is what it's about. So on that, I'm going to thank you. I've been asked to point out to you that there is a, a box on that front table for you to leave a donation if you are able. If not, you can do so at a later time. But thank you so much for coming out. And I promise you, uh, I'm going to fight for you. I'm going to fight for you and I'm going to listen to you so I know what I'm fighting for and what I'm fighting about. And thank you. God bless you for coming here. Thank <laughs> you.